Today we are making Parmesan crusted Brussels sprouts. I'm super excited. My oven is preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Hi Finn. And I have my baking dish with a little bit of nonstick spray. My dish is 11 by 15. You can use a 9 by 13 as well. I have a pound and a half of Brussels sprouts cut in half and I will season these here in just a second. But first we're going to go ahead in our dish, we're going to add a stick and a half to two sticks of melted butter. We're going to add half a cup of Parmesan cheese. This is the grated Parmesan. We are adding one tablespoon of garlic powder. One tablespoon Italian seasoning, about one fourth to a half teaspoon of pepper and a pinch of salt. We're going to go ahead and mix that all together. It's going to make this delicious crust here on the bottom. And then once you have it all combined, you can take a quick look at it. If it looks like it needs a little more seasoning, you can even taste it at this point. It's okay if you have a little bit of a clump. Taste it to see if it's to your liking or if you wanna add a little bit more seasoning. Just from looking at it, I do wanna add a little bit more of my seasoning. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Also going to add in a small amount of cayenne. Very little, you don't have to add this. Gives it a little bit of heat. Beautiful. And if you happen to have it on hand, which I do, we are going to add a little bit of our freshly shaved Parmesan. So if you want, you can get your own block of Parmesan. Going to go ahead and give a nice layer here on the bottom. Perfect. All right, that is all ready to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to prep our Brussels sprouts. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of avocado oil on them. You can also use olive oil. A little bit of oil. I'm going to do a pinch of salt pinch of black pepper. We're going to give it a little toss. Get everybody nice and coated. This way if you just get a Brussels sprout on its own, you have seasoning all over including on the back side of your Brussels sprouts. It's okay if your leaves come off. You can add those right on top. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our cut side and we're going to place them down and we're going to make sure, oh, we're all preheated. We're going to coat the entire bottom of our pan. Once these are all done, oh, thank you, Finn. Once these are all done, we are going to go ahead and roast them in the oven for about 25 minutes or so. It can be a little bit sooner, so I always set my timer for 20 minutes, check them. They should be nice and fork tender all the way through. Nice and crispy, thank you. These are a great side dish. It's also a great appetizer if you want to stick a cute little appetizer fork into them with the dish. You can have a nice serving sauce with them. Garlic aioli would be delicious. And this gives it a nice crust. If you're not a Brussels sprout fan, we have done this with potatoes, right? Little baby potatoes, so that's also really good. we have them all coated in our dish. You can either save these leaves, you can make them nice and crispy on their own in a little sheet pan and have them for a little snack. You can add them to a scramble or you could add them right on top. Or soup. Or soup would be delicious. Alrighty, these are all set. They're going into my oven 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes and we'll be right back. 
My Brussels sprouts are all done. I'm so excited. I have let them rest a bit because they were very, very hot when they came out. But they are so delicious. Look at that. So good. I hope you enjoy this. Because I do.